Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing my first video for my new series, which is, is yet to be named. We are going to be going through different parts of my makeup collection and also the backup backup stash that's been in the basement. If you saw my giveaway video, uh, if you haven't, check it out up here. The giveaway is still going on and I'll link it down below how to get entered. But if you saw that video, you saw my stack of boxes and heard me talk a little bit about this. I did have some fun ideas for names. So I'm actually gonna have you guys vote on what you think about it. I'll put a little poll up here where you can vote on what name you like better. Uh, so love all the names that you guys put out there. There were two that kind of stuck out in my head. The first one's Taking Stock from Matrini. Tell me if I'm saying your name right. I'm pretty sure you're watching this. Uh, love that idea. And the other one from Nona, uh, she's got a channel here, My So-Called Life, is Pass Stash or Trash. So I thought both of those were really cute. I would have never come up with those on my own. So let's get into liners. So today we're doing gel liners, liquid liners, all the liners today. Since this is the first one, I don't have a solid idea of what I'm going to do. I thought liners was a pretty good one to jump into because I don't own like, I mean, maybe I do own a lot of, <laughs> maybe I do own a lot of liners. Okay. So I have got over here, can you guys see that? Well, I'm just gonna bring it over here. So I'm gonna show you what my current stash is up here and then we'll go through the backup and then we'll talk about what I'm keeping, what I'm throwing away and what I'm putting into giveaways. This one is going to be a bit of a declutter as well because I know I need to declutter some eyeliners. All of them won't be declutters. So here I have got all of my liquid liners. Here I have my color gel liners. These are my current tight line ones that I have that I'm trying to use up. This is the Ulta black gel liner. I've got an Ulta brown one. And then I have an Urban Decay one in smoke. This one has got more of my liquid, glittery, other kind of liners that I use sometimes. And this one has been sitting in my bathroom. This is my first line of backups, I guess. I don't know if all of these are still good anymore. And these are the ones that have been in the basement of backups. These are the ones we'll go through last. So let's start with this one and kind of get it out of the way. So in here, this is a newer one. This is a Push Razor Sharp liquid liner. What color is Push? Is it this navy color? Why do I have that? Okay, this is not that old. Did you guys see that? Nothing went on. Ooh, I don't feel like this should be breaking up that fast. Hmm, that's interesting because this is not that old. I'm gonna have to figure that one out, work with that a little bit more and see if I can still use it on the lids. That would be super oh good. Oh, that's a magnetic liner that I still need to review. That's from Eyelore. Okay, this one is Midnight Chaos. So this is a NYX Midnight, do I just have one of these? I have two of these, the NYX Midnight Chaos one. So they have one side that is kind of metallic and these are totally still fine. And the other side is matte. This is a maroon one. These actually are pretty nice and don't really break up on the lids. And then this one is the teal one. This is in teal. <laughs> Super creative name there. Look how nice that liquid liner is. That's nice. You know what I don't have in here are my water activated ones, but I can easily show you guys those. So it just kind of is a little bit of a metallic teal to it. So I'm definitely keeping these. These are a nice addition to my collection. I don't use them a ton, but they're nice to have if I want to use them. Okay, here are the rest of my liquid liners. So we're just gonna go through and see if they're still even worth it to keep in my collection. This is a white one from NYX. I hope you guys can see my swatches okay. That one's still pretty good. This is the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Fire. Oh, these are all still good. I haven't used these in a long time. This is the Vivid Brights in Vivid Halo. Oh my gosh, those are all still really good. I thought maybe they'd be dried out by now. Uh, this Urban Decay one is in Revolver. I wanna say this is a silver one. This is the 24-7 liquid eyeliner. Okay. That is still really good. So tell me my, why my razor sharp one is not good at all. And then we've got a Maybelline Master Precise Ink in Cosmic Purple. 
I've used this one a couple times and I like this one. Okay, this one's still good too. Look how pretty that purple is. And the last liquid one I have is the NYX matte black liquid liner. Okay, so those are all still in good shape. And then the last ones I have are my glitter ones. So first I've got a NYX one. Let's see if this is still any good. This is the Crystal Liquid Crystal Body Liner in Crystal Silk. Okay, that still is in good condition, but you know what? I've got a gold one from Urban Decay, and these sting my eyes, so I think I'm going to give this to my daughters just to play with and put glitter on stuff. So we're getting rid of one. So here's the Urban Decay one. So I like the Urban Decay ones a little bit better, and they don't sting the eyes. I like the NYX ones, but they are not eye safe, and they really do sting my eye quite a bit. This is another heavy metal in Starfire. I think the other one was Midnight Cowboy. So this one is more, I don't know what this one is. A copper, I would say, more of a copper. And then the last one I have is Volume, and this is more of a rose gold shade. Okay, and then I also have got a ColourPop metallic one. I've only used this once. And it applied really nice and it wore good on the eyes, but I do feel like I need to wear it a few more times before I give it like a full review. So that is their new metallic line that came out. That one is in the rose standard, but I feel like it's a little more gold than rose or like a gold copper. I have got St. Lux one in charcoal. Uh... I just recently got this, but it is not the best. What do you do with something that's brand new that you don't like? I used it only in a BoxyCharm unboxing video and I probably will never use it again. Do I give it to my daughters? They love playing with makeup, but I'm not gonna keep it in my collection. I will never use it. I have a Starlux Ultra Olive Gem Pencil. I brought my sharpener up here because I knew I would have to sharpen some. Oh my gosh, why am I not using that? That's awesome. This is Trick from Urban Decay. So that's also in good condition. I have got LSD from Urban Decay. This one's never been used and I have so many gel liners that this is going to get put in my giveaway pile. All right, this one is, that's like a brown shimmer shade. This, this is in Supply, so this brown one. This one is in Stag. So that's even a darker black brown. That would be a really good tight line one as well. I've got a Marc Jacobs brown one. I don't even know if I like this. I think I've heard that that's good for the lower lash line that it stays on pretty good. This one is a Stila smudge stick eyeliner in Angelfish. And I don't know, what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna give that to my daughter. This came in a set that I got and I thought maybe I'd use it to brighten my under eye, but I have a Thrive one now that I can use. So I'll just go ahead and pass that along. And the last thing I have is Get Paid, a cream gel liner from ColourPop. I really need to use this more because I really like it. It's like the rose gold color and that is more rose gold than this rose gold that they say is rose gold. Okay, we are keeping these. So far I'm passing three on to my daughters and I've been able to put one into a giveaway pile. Now let's move on to these. These don't even have lids on them. <laughs> okay, I have got a Clinique one. Oh. This is in Egyptian. This is one of the first color eyeliners I have ever bought. I feel like I need to get on using that. Maybe I'm gonna add that to my current tight line pile because it's a pretty like greenish black shade and I really need to start using that one up. This is a Clinique Intense Eyeliner in Intense Aubergine. I'm gonna break off a little top. It feels very dried out, but let's see if breaking that off will give... No, there is, it is so dried out. So dried out, so there, there is a trash one. Look at that. This is a Stila one in Stargazer. And there is nothing, nothing left to this one. Another trash, a Stila one in Moray. Ooh, that one is really similar. Okay, so this one is Moray. This is very similar to the Starlux Olive one. I think I'm gonna pass this one on to my daughters because I like pencils that you have to sharpen better. I feel like you can get them to last longer because when you have the sticks like this, they're, you know, like air gets in around the pencil and it dries out faster. So I'm gonna give that one to them. I'm sure they'll use that up very quickly. And let's see, I have a Marcel. 
Nope, this one is trash as well. And then the last one I had in there is Obsidian from Hourglass. This is the 1.5 millimeter liner. So here's what it looks like. And I don't think I've ever used this. I don't need another black liner. So I am going to put that in a giveaway. Okay, so the only one I kept from here was this Egyptian one from Clinique. That's awesome. I'm gonna put all of the trash ones in here. Two to the giveaways, four to the daughters, and three trash so far. I didn't think I was gonna be getting rid of any except for the ones I was putting in the giveaway, so that's exciting. Okay, I'm now. starting to think now I'm just gonna do gel liners today and those colored liners. And then maybe I'll do a live with my liquid liners. You guys, if you did not see the live last Friday night, it was so fun. I don't actually know when this video is going up, but I did a live where I organized and sorted out all of my eyeshadow palettes. And this is the end result with the eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna be using for the spring going into summer and all of my single shadows. So I don't have all of those other palettes on my desk anymore. Uh, that live was so fun and then I was able to interact back and forth and I feel like I have a lot of knowledge about liquid liners because I have tried so many that that would probably be a good one to do a live on. And I feel like if we do the liquid liners in this video, it's gonna be super long because look at all of these colorful gel liners that I have. Plus I have some in there that we have to go through. We're gonna go through and swatch all of these. I'm not gonna swatch these, but I'm gonna start out talking about these. These are the jumbo eye pencils from NYX. I have them in black, cobalt, and milk. I love these for two different reasons. First of all, I love them for tight line and waterline. They stay on really good, but I also love using these as a base to eyeshadows to give a different shift to shimmer shades. So that is what I have these for, and I'm definitely keeping these. I have got an appeal one in forest green that I got from a BoxyCharm box. And let's swatch this. Oh, that's pretty. So I don't really have anything like this color. Most of these I'm probably gonna keep and we'll just go through what I have. I have two Maybelline Lights ones. This one is in bronze. It kind of is more of a darker tan peach shade in my opinion. It's not really bronzy. And then I have, is this called lilac? Moonlit Purple. So this one is a nice highlighting purple shade for the waterline if you've got a purple look. I don't use these a ton, but I do reach for something like these occasionally. So I like to have that option in my collection. Listen, gel liners to me are just what kind of pull the eye look together. The lower lash line is one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine, like finding the perfect color to go with that eye look. So I love having lots of options and lots of colors. And yes, I am a bit of a collector of gel liners and I'm okay with that. This one is from Ulta in Peacock. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, that is so pretty. So that really is like a teal turquoise peacock blue shade. We've got a Maybelline gel liner in cobalt blue. This one I got because I wanted a matte blue one. It's really hard to find a matte shade like that. So that one's from Maybelline. And then I've got a Maybelline Lasting Drama in Rusty Terracotta. I mean, it really is like a rust shade. I kind of have a thing for finding matte eyeliners of unique shades. I'm pretty sure I have a purple NYX Brights, but this is the NYX Brights in linen and it is the pastel pink shade. And then I have the faux whites, faux whites, did I say bright whites? This is the faux whites in cream de menthe. And this is the pastel green shade. I love having those pastel matte options. The next four here are the NYX Slide On Glide On pencils. I wish that they would come out with mattes. These are dupes for the Urban Decay ones. So if you like the Urban Decay formula, you're gonna love these as well. Sometimes I think these stay on a little bit longer in the waterline than the Urban Decay ones do, and that's why I've moved to using my Urban Decay ones for my tight line, because I feel like they rub off sometimes on my waterline. But I wish that they would come out in mattes in these, because they're so great, and they have such great colors, but they're all shimmery, and I just really love matte gel liners. All right, this one is Esmeralda. We're kind of running out of space, but this is gonna be so hard to write on this hand. We're gonna try it, though. Okay. So that's a bright green shimmery liner. And the purple one I have is in Jewel. So there's that one. Before Actually, I go to the next one, I'm gonna see if this is the same as Rockstar. So this is our Urban Decay one that I have in Rockstar. 
No, Rockstar's a little bit darker of a purple shade. So obviously I need both of those in my collection. This one is one of my favorite ones. This is an Azure. I used to use this all the time. Ugh. Look what a pretty blue that is. It's just like water. I love that one. The last one that I have is in olive. I'm gonna put this over here by these. That's the exact same as the Clinique one. So you know what? That Clinique one is moving out of my collection. That's gonna go to my daughter's as well. This one is a way better formula than the Clinique one. You're gonna see that I have a ton of ColourPop, but if I were choosing matte, gel liners and shimmer gel liners. Matte, I would always choose ColourPop or LA Girls. You're gonna see those in a minute. Shimmery, I would always choose Ulta brand or the NYX Slide On Glide On ones. I think those are the best formulas in gel eyeliners. I've got a couple more shimmer ones and then we'll move on to the matte ones, which are my absolute favorites. This is an Ulta gel liner in denim. Ooh. Okay, that one's kind of drying out, so I'm gonna pass that on to my daughters to use up before it's totally dried out. Got one more Urban Decay one. This is Zero, so this is the white shimmery one. Can't really see that very well, but it's there. I don't use that one very often, but I like to have that option of that shimmery white to put in the waterline if I want it. And speaking of shimmery white, I've got a LA Girl one. Okay, that one is a matte white, so I'll keep both of those. The LA Girl, the LA Girl Glide gel eyeliner is really good too. And those ones are super inexpensive. The next one is another LA Girl Glide in Silver Streak. <gasps> that is so pretty. I don't use I don't use these shades very often, but look how pretty that silver is. That makes me want to get the Smoke Show palette. Is it Smoke Show? Just to use that gel liner once. The next one is in Royal Blue. That's another LA Girl one. Let's compare this to the... So that's next to the Maybelline one. So they are very similar. The Maybelline one is matte and this denim one from LA Girl has a little shimmer to it. Obviously I need both of those. I'm with gel liners how neutral eyeshadow lovers are with a taupe eyeshadow. You have like 10 taupes and they all look the same, but they're to a, to a neutral eyeshadow lover, all of those taupes are different. Uh, the last one that I've got in the slide on glide on one is Paradise Purple. That was super hard to read. Do I have any purples on here yet? Not really. So this is just a bright purple shade. And then the last one I have is a purple also, and this is from Hollywood in Vine, and it is just in the purple shade. It is from a BoxyCharm box as well. I... That's just an awful formula. There it is right there. That was so hard to get on. I am going to give that to my daughters as well. I've got a couple of Sephora ones. These are not the easiest to put on the eye, but they do last for a long time, so I keep these around. And I, I think all these are matte, we'll see. The first one's a blue shade in Summer Cruise, so I'm gonna put it next to, it's kind of like a satin. So there it is next to Azure, so very similar colors, but this has more of a satin finish to it and a little bit more blue. And Azure has got like a little bit of the tiniest bit of a green undertone to it. So this one is in fairy tale, and this is a glitter one. I did not realize that. Oh geez, that looks really close to. So that is really close to this. I don't even know what shade that is. Oh, this is the appeal one, but this is matte and this one is glitter. So obviously I need both of those. <laughs> and then the last one that I have is also a glitter. I thought these were matte. Why do I have these glitter shades? does not show up as glitter at all. This is the hot pink one right here. And it's, I mean like, how good is that hot pink gel liner? So it is creamy. I don't know why it takes a little bit to build up on the waterline, but it does stay in place for a little longer. So those are the Sephora gel liners. I've got a few of the Shockwave liners from LA Girl. This one is in electric. I'm thinking I need to sharpen this one because I haven't had the lid on it. There we go. So that one is an electric. Look how bright and bold that is. These are LA Girl. These are like four bucks, guys. This one is in Screamin'. This is the yellow one. And typically I'll use this in combination with my yellow one from ColourPop. Look at that. These are so great. I hope they come out with more colors. This one, the purple one is Vivid. 
They do also have a turquoise one, which I did just get. All right, so here's the turquoise one. This one is in fresh. So I haven't opened this one up yet, but I'm, I mean, I just bought it. I want it in my collection. I, they might also have a neon green. I'm not sure, but I have a really good neon green from ColourPop. All right, the last two before we get into the ColourPop ones are the Smashbox one in Sumatra. I don't know where I got this from. The only thing I don't like about this is I have no idea like what is left in here, but this is just a brown shade and it is like a very true brown. I feel like I don't have another one of those. <laughs> so I definitely need that one. I mean, you guys knew I was gonna say that. And this one is from Dose of Colors. And this is, ooh, why haven't I used that more? That's like a green green. That is everything but my ColourPop ones. I also have my Hydra Liners from Suva Beauty. So I love these. I need to play with these more. I got my the primary colors so I can mix them and create different colors with them and the white so I can make some pastels. And I just haven't had the time to really play with these. So I do need to use those more. All right, last we've got ColourPop. Oh my gosh, look. I do have the lime green one. Look at that. I must use this a lot. But, oh my gosh. You know what I think happened to this? Is I think I left this one out for a long time. So I'm going to put the lid on the... Oh, the lid is cracked. That's what happened to it. I think it's totally dried out now. Let's sharpen it and see. Well, that will be like... That's so sad. I'm thinking, I think I might need to replace this. Oh, I think I found where it's going to work. Okay, so here is the green one from LA Girl. This one is in Gotcha, and I definitely need to find a lid for this that is gonna be nice and tight because, I mean, if I have to sharpen it that much again, I will not have anything left. So let's get into these ColourPop ones. These are the last ones, and then we'll go through the liners that are in the, the backup, backup. I have got Venus, which is the red one. Oh. I wish that Ulta had these. The yellow one is Punch. The blue one is Prance. I use this one a lot as well. It's just a really pretty blue shade. And I've got Zulu, which I have in my waterline today. This is very similar to the LA Girl one that I just purchased. So that is an aqua turquoise shade pastel. And this one's another favorite of mine. I, this is electric, I think. It's totally rubbed off, but I'm pretty sure. Electric Daisy, that's what it's called. So this is the bright lime green one. These do break off really easily. I wish they would come out with a sharpening form instead of the twist up ones because these just break off so easily. The hot pink one is Insomniac. I don't know if they still have these neon ones on their website. They should because they are so pretty. And I would definitely repurchase them after I've used them. The orange one is Puppy. So just a bright orange. I don't know why no one else has come up with like brightly colored matte liners. The only other brand that I really know of that does a lot besides LA Girl is Linda Halberg, but she is a German brand. I broke it again. That one's Boots. So that's more of a magenta shade. So her liners are not only more high-end, but shipping is also more expensive. So I don't know that I would ever purchase those. And I've heard that those don't stay in the waterline as well as the ColourPop ones do. This one is Piggy Bank. And I think I need to replace Piggy Bank soon. That one's getting a little bit like tuggish to put on the waterline, but that's the purple one. I have another piggy bank. I don't know, this one probably doesn't work anymore if I bought that other one. Yeah, that one's dried out, so we'll put that in the trash. And the last one I have is in Honey Dude, and this one is just a, a matte neutral shade. Something else that's hard to find. You see a lot of the shimmer brightening ones, but you don't see a lot of matte neutral ones. Well, I am totally colored up and stocked up on gel liners, <laughs> and I'm proud of it. All right, let's get into what I have in here. This is both liquid liners and gel liners. So first I've got two from Dose of Colors. I have got a pearl gray and a romance. So romance is a red. I'm not going to use it yet because I have that boots one. So I'll probably get to that when the boots one dries up. Pearl gray. That sounds really, oh, that is so pretty. It's like a taupey purple shade. <gasps> 
definitely pulling that one up. I've got an Ulta black gel liner, so that's going to go in my giveaway pile. I have got a Bodyography Bali Bronze Eye Pencil that is going to go in the giveaway pile because I have got some bronzes in here that I don't probably use very often. I've got an Urban Decay gel liner in vice so this is a purple shade and i've got plenty of purples this is going to go in a giveaway pile we've got an ulta gel liner in copper also going in a giveaway pile i have got an urban decay gel liner in sabbath this looks like it's a navy blue okay i am going to keep that i do not have a navy blue how is that even possible all this time i've had one sitting in my basement and the last one i have is an urban decay one in perversion this is going to go in a giveaway because i don't need another black one so that is my gel eyeliner and I guess some colored liquid liners collection. So one, two, three, four, five, six. so seven are going to my daughters. We are throwing away one, throwing away four. We've moved seven into giveaways, so that's awesome. I need to start a little giveaway basket as I go through all my collections so I can put it in there. That would be Perfect. All right, so there's all the colorful gel liners that I am keeping. Let's count and see. Oh my gosh, some of you guys are going to comment. That would be heaven. It is. I love it. <laughs> so 48 is where we're at in my little container here of gel liners. I now know. Oh, and then we've got this one, which would make 49 when I get to using that. And I think since I only have one, I'm just going to keep it up here in my little container of liners right here. So I know where it is. I know exactly what all liners I own now. Did, was there anything that I needed? Did anything stand out to you that I still... I know what I still need. I need a coral still. I still need a coral liner. I'm probably going to end up getting getting that Fenty Fly stick. They have a matte coral one out right now. And that is the only thing that's missing from my collection. So here are all the swatches. I hope that you enjoyed this first one of looking into my backups of my backups. That was not as big as some of the other ones are gonna be. I'm really excited to do the gel liner ones because I know I've got to get rid of some of these and pull some of my backups forward. Let me know which one you guys want to see next. That doesn't have to be the next one. We can go on to something else, but I'm going to keep it where I talk about my current collection and look at the backups and go from there deciding what I need to do with things. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Subscribe before you leave. Vote on what you want the name to be. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!